in a body roll. Lips plastic. It's fantastic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of my favorite NYX lip glosses. I've got butter glosses, I've got intense butter glosses, I've got the soft matte cream, and I've got just one liquid suede. So let's get straight into this video. I'm currently wearing one of the NYX laundry lipsticks. I've just recorded a video of all the shades that I have. So if you want to see that video, I'll leave the link up here and I'll leave the link in the description box below. But yeah, let's get straight into this video. So I'm just going to line my lips with Espresso or Chestnut from NYX as well, um, depending on the shade because sometimes you, you really won't need it. I will start off with my butter glosses. So I have five butter glosses that I like to use. Um, some of them I run out of and I have to rebuy. Some of them I can just wear without a lip liner, some of them not. <laughs> let's start off with my favourite one first, which is Preline. So this is Preline. I don't usually wear a lip liner with this one. And I'm just going to take some of NYX Espresso to show you what it looks like with lip liner on. It's Preline, absolute fame. You've got to love a gloss. <laughs> this makes you look so youthful. <laughs> So that was Preline. My next favourite one is Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap is a little bit darker. I do tend to grab for Ginger Snap more than Preline, just because I like it a little bit less. <laughs> and I'm not really scared about this one running out. And I don't usually wear a liner with Ginger Snap either. And that's Ginger Snap. You literally don't need a lip liner. I mean, I will put some on just to show you guys, but you don't need a lip liner. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going in order of favorite to least favorite. Okay. The next one is called Honey. Um, my niece put me onto this one recently. Didn't even know it existed. Mm -mm. Now this one definitely needs lip liner, I think. I guess it looks okay. It looks okay without lip liner, but mm, not for me. So yeah, that is with the lip liner. It's much better, I think. Bit of honey. Mm. Right, 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 right. So, <laughs> I dislike these. Well, not dislike, that's a strong word. But these are my least favourite ones. So yeah, this is Madeline. It's nice. It is a nice shade. But for me, it's a bit too translucent. And I just wish it was a bit more opaque. I just feel like the cut, the real colour of my lips pokes out a bit too much. Not that I mind my colour of my lips. It's just... It looks unfinished, if you get what I mean. Let me add a lip liner. It's not it's not bad at all. I, I love the colour. Really love the colour. It's just the opaqueness for me. You know what I mean? But the thing is about lip glosses and having to put lip liner, I'd just rather have, you know, something I can just stash on, just put on without having to have lip liner. And that's the reason why I like to wear matte lipsticks because they stay on longer but this is real cute <laughs> you can't like this it's cute no it's really nice With the lip liner oh 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 yes 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 <laughs> the last shade is tiramisu this is the only one that I kind of regret buying, like I could have done without, basically. So yeah, let me show you what it looks like. This is one of the newer ones as well, because I was looking for something like a bit of honey, but I thought this was it, but it wasn't. Barbie doll. I'm a Barbie doll. In a Barbie world. 
Next plastic. It's fantastic. So yeah, I'm looking like a Barbie doll. Let's put some lip liner on because this ain't it. I don't know why I had that stank face on, but that's how I feel about this lip gloss, yo. Yeah, joking. Um, yeah, it's cute with the lip liner. I think this lip liner is a bit too dark for it though. Let me try using Chestnut by NYX instead. And I don't think they have these shades available anymore, the lip liners in Chestnut or Expresso. I think the shade that they're selling now is called Club Hopper. And I bought that for my niece recently and it's a really nice brown shade as well. So if you can't find chestnut or espresso, get Club Hopper. But yeah, this is Tiramisu. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't actually mind this colour. Yeah. So yeah, that was all of the butter glosses. They got a lot more on their site. But these are my favourite ones. Alright, so I'm going to move on to my intense butter glosses. I've got three intense butters. When they say intense, I mean intense. Let me show you what I mean. So this one is called Tress Leches. And a little goes a long way with these ones. You see what I mean? I really do like the thickness of these ones though. Let me put a little bit more on. Ooh. Okay. Some clam. I mean, some clam business. <laughs> Let's put some lip liner on. See if I can save this. So, yeah, I just had to dab a little bit off. Dab a little bit off. So, yeah, this is Tress Lectures. I do like it. I do like the shade. It's just a bit more of a girly girly shade you know a bit like tiramisu and keeping up this lip liner a little bit the next shade is called crepe au chocolat if that's how you pronounce it chocolate crepe <laughs> i was reading the different language that's so funny chocolate crepe is called chocolate crepe okay Thick. Again, a little goes a long way. I'm gonna put more than that. When I wear them, I literally just put a dab on, like dab there, dab there. Mm -hmm. You need some lip liner, okay? Chocolate crepe or crepe au chocolat. <laughs> and the last one from the intense bar glosses is cinnamon roll. Oh, it's so pretty. You don't need a lip liner for this one. Well, I don't usually, but I will pair it with a lip liner. This is so how it looks. So nice and thick. Oh, look at that. Intense. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's good. Okay. Let me pair it with a lip liner. So cute. It's had a perfect nude. Cinnamon roll. Oh, it's so nice to roll out as well. Oh god. Might have to make some soon. My fave. Moving on to the soft matte lip creams, um, I can't remember what they're called guys, the stickers come off, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, that one's called London, I think. Definitely lip liner. This is Abu Dhabi and the other one I have is called Stockholm and they're both still in stock. I'm just going to put a lip liner on first because I know I'm going to need it. Ooh. I don't know why I thought I had London all this time. Let me see what London looks like because, yeah, 
it looks like one I should have had. So yeah, might have to cop that. So that's Stockholm. Again, it's a pinky, pinky nude that needs a lip liner. But I do recommend London as well. But I don't know why I thought I had London. Maybe I do. Maybe it's just missing. Yeah, so Stockholm. I've not really tried out the NYX Liquid Suede range. I just literally bought this one because I was just so happy with NYX lingerie and then the butter glosses. I didn't really feel the need to have liquid suede, you know what I mean? So this is the shade that I bought. This is in Downtown Beauty. This is a recent purchase as well. It's feel really nice on though. Oh, it's really, really matte. This is my skin a little bit too much. Uh, lip liner thing is... I really do like the formula on these. They don't feel like the, the laundry ones where they feel, oh, let me let it dry first before I chat poop. I feel like I might need a little bit of uh, darker lip liner. This is Downtown Beauty. I do like the formula better than the lingerie. I don't think it'll be as durable as the lingerie liquid lipsticks. I also feel like it's drying. So maybe that's where the suede comes in. It's like, it's not matte. It's not soft matte, it's suede. Well, I might actually try out some of the other shades because I actually do like this formula. You can actually um, put this underneath and then put one of the NYX laundries on top. Let me actually try that. So this is the look at last for NYX laundry. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. Those are the swatches for the lip glosses in the order that I tried. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and for more hair content. I do have a video on how I did this curly do. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.